Hello, this is John Brewer. One of Slower Than Light's key mechanics is light speed communication. This video is going to demonstrate how light speed communications work in the UI the player uses. The application shown here is the proof of concept study I did back in 2011, and which I'm making available today to give prospective backers the opportunity to get an idea of how Slower Than Light's communication and gameplay will be different from other games in the 4X genre. Because ships in Slower Than Light often cannot be given orders quickly, they are issued missions, which are a series of orders that they will execute either in order or based on a series of triggering conditions. Here, I'm using an iterative design process to build a colony ship to colonize the Ophicus star system. You can see as the ship leaves my homeworld that it has a tag attached to it telling me how old our information on that ship's location and velocity are. The UI draws the ship not where it really is, but where it thinks it is, presuming it continued on course and speed since last contact. Here the ship has passed out of range of being able to communicate with our homeworld, so the report on its position just keeps getting older, and eventually the UI will show that it just flew past the target system. It hadn't, but that is where it would be based on its past course and speed. Once the colony is established, it has a more powerful transmitter and calls the homeworld to let us know the colony mission was successful. The colony ship is removed from our display and a new colony is added. Here we've sent another colony ship to a distant star. We lose contact with it here, but for this brief window here, it is able to contact our colony on Ophicus, and we get reports that way. Once it passes Ophicus, though, we have a problem. The colony won't have a powerful enough transmitter to reach either the homeworld or our colony on Ophicus, so we're going to need to put a relay in space. Since the colony on Ophicus is closer, we ask them to build the relay. It will take 12 years for the order to reach them, but that is still faster than launching the relay from Homeworld. We build and launch the relay, which sits between the Ophicus colony and the Baton Kaitos colony. Using this relay, the new colony on Baton Kaitos can send reports on its status back to the Homeworld via the colony on Ophicus. This has been a brief summary of how light speed communications work in Slower Than Light. For more detail on how to use the demo shown here, please see our more detailed video via the annotation on your screen, or in the link in the description. For more information on Slower Than Light, please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and on our blog at www.slowerthanlightgame.com.